This is a fairly substantial router. This is what you would get as a typical uh, router if you have a tip, uh, triple play service, uh, cable TV in in this case, uh, uh, with uh, four ports of network, telephone line, and a USB port would be used for like a storage drive or something. So we're just gonna set it on the shelf. In order to keep it stable, we'll use the Velcro. So slot right in front. And then there's another slot here on the top that we're going to use. You also have slots on the side. I removed the module before putting in the Velcro. Okay, we'll set our router on top here. Just enough material to hold it in place. That'll keep it secure. We leave the ports available on this side because we're going to terminate uh, power and network to it, as well as telephone. For power, We'll do this termination last, and we'll Velcro everything up later. Power, we'll go ahead and plug in our power cord. We're gonna use four ports for network. There are four ports on the side here. Uh, the port, which port you use is not really that important. They're all equal. These ports we're gonna patch in for service around the house. If you remember, we have already terminated six ports of uh, category six cabling that can be used for either telephone or network in this case. So we'll take, these will be our four network ports. We'll plug them into, patch into bedroom one, bedroom two, master bedroom, family room. Then we'll take our telephone service. This cord would be included with the router. There are telephone ports on the side here. Telephone, uh, patch cable. This is a rather long one. We'll button that one up. This will patch into the TIDP. When you patch this into the TIDP here as port one, there are two ports on here. We're just going to use port one. So we'll have a single line telephone service. By plugging this here, it makes all these, these ports available for patching. And the reason we do that is we have, we want to put in two more, we want to put in two telephone jacks in the house. So we'll take the kitchen here and also the uh, secondary family room, one in the back of the room. We'll patch these over and provide them with telephone service. So now these ports are now line one telephone and these ports are live ethernet. So using our Velcro, on the side of the enclosure for tidying things up, we've included these lacing points. These are designed to give you a place to terminate the Velcro, okay? There are two, uh, to strap things down, we'll cut off the excess. So this will tidy up the enclosure quite a bit. Grab another one down below and just clean up the appearance of the enclosure and keep the cables out of the way so there's no risk of them getting damaged or caught in the door. We'll go ahead and tie this guy up. They provide a very long cable so we seem to have plenty right there. The Leviton products include a, uh, a standoff. If you've noticed or haven't noticed yet, which, which allow you to, uh, to run cables behind the products. So there is room to tuck this up underneath here, or underneath here. Um, for uh, what we're going to do is tie it off to this guy. By reversing the Velcro, It'll make the two pieces stick together. There we go. Now our installation is nearly complete. We'll tie off this cable. So the triple play product that we have here, the coaxial cable, which I haven't terminated yet, it's up here, feeds in. And the cable modem is inside here. There's also Wi-Fi. We have a um, we have four ports of Ethernet that are patched into the category six module and the telephone line for telephone service, the third part of the triple play, cable TV, internet, and phone. The phone we're patching into the TIDP to be distributed and patched throughout the house. So that's what we've got going on here.